Lecture is about carbon nanotube. Definition of carbon nanotube, structure, types and properties of carbon nanotube are already discussed in part 1 of the video. In part 2 of the video, we will discuss about the synthesis of carbon nanotube and their applications. Synthesis of carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes can be synthesized by three methods arc discharge method, laser ablation method and chemical vapor deposition method. Chemical vapor deposition method is the most commonly used method for the synthesis of carbon nanotube. First method is R discharge method. A chamber containing a graphite cathode and anode that contains de evaporated carbon molecules in a buffer gas such as helium. The chamber also contains some amount of metal catalyst particles such as cobalt, nickel and iron. A DC current is passed through the chamber while the chamber is also pressurized and heated to 4000 Kelvin. In the course of this procedure, carbon condenses into car chamber suit around the wall of the chamber and cathode suit on the cathode. So when the graphite will produce carbon, it will condenses on the wall of the chamber that is known as chamber suit and also the graphite that carbon that is released from the graphite is condenses on the cathode that is known as cathode suit. The cathode suit and the chamber suit yield either single wall or multiple multi wall carbon nanotubes. Apparently, the nanotubes grow from the surface of the metallic catalyst particles. So, the growth of the nanotube will occur at the surface of the catalyst particle in this chamber. Second method is laser vaporization method. In the laser vaporization method, intense laser pulses are used to ablate a carbon target. So here the carbon target is graphite. For the production of carbon nanotubes, a typical apparatus with pulse neodymium, yttrium, aluminium, garnet laser that is operated at 532 nanometer and 250 millijoule of the power is used. In this method, the carbon nanotubes are produced by a pulsated laser which is focused on a target in a inert atmosphere helium. So here the laser is focused on the graphite target and the inert atmosphere in helium is used. This process involves vaporizing carbon from the rotating solid disk of the graphite. So this graphite will be in the form of rotating disk. And the laser will ablate the carbon from this rotating graphite disc into high density helium flow using a focus pulse laser. The target is placed in a tube furnace. So the target is placed in a furnace at a temperature of 1200 degrees C. And a flow of inner gas that is passes through the growth chamber. It is used to propel the grown nanotubes and fillurines downstream and it is collected at the cooler end of the finger. Third method is chemical vapor deposition. In case of chemical vapor deposition, the hydrocarbon gas is introduced into the reaction chamber. Here it is dissociated into carbon and that carbon will grow to the carbon nanotube at the surface of the catalyst. In chemical vapor deposition, a catalyst material is heated up to high temperature in the furnace with the flow of hydrocarbon gas through the tube reactor. The general nanotube growth mechanism involves the dissociation of hydrocarbon molecule which is generally catalyzed by the transition metal and the dissolution, dissolution and the subsequent saturation of the carbon atom that will produce the carbon nanotube. The key parameter in nanotube Chemical vapor deposition growth are the types of hydrocarbon, catalyst and growth temperature that are used. So these three key parameters will produce the carbon nanotubes for desired applications. High temperature are necessary to form small diameter carbon nanotubes. There are th two major mechanisms for the catalytic growth of the carbon nanotubes depending upon the position of the catalyst with respect to the substrate. First is 
tip growth mechanism the catalyst particle are always located at the tip of the growing tubes second one is root growth mechanism the catalyst particles is placed at the bottom or root of the growing tube applications of carbon nanotubes first one is gas sensor in the design of gas sensor some unusual electronic mechanical and thermal property of carbon nanotubes are utilized the sensor developed so far have used different mechanism of interacting analytes with carbon nanotube as well as different modes of preparing carbon nanotubes in sensor in constructing gas sensor changes in the electrical properties of carbon nanotubes as a result of their interaction with analyte are used most often so we will change the electrical property of carbon nanotubes then the interaction of carbon nanotubes with the analytes will will be different or will be modified voltammetry large number of application of carbon nanotubes can be found as electrode material or modifiers of conventional working electrodes in analytical voltammetry so it can be used as an electrode in voltammetric uh, voltammetric methods chromatographic application in spite of the extraordinary sorption properties of carbon nanotubes chromatographic application have been improving chemical electrochemical detection in high performance liquid chromatography amperometric detection with gc modified with multi wall carbon nanotubes has been satisfactory employed for selected aromatic amines it was also employed in ion chromatography of oxidizable amino acids and thiosulfate electrochemical system the outstanding mechanical properties and high surface to volume ratio make carbon nanotubes potentially useful as anode material or additives some example include lithium ion battery carbon nanotube is useful as anode material in lithium ion batteries additives to the electrodes of lead acid batteries in order to increase the conductivity of the electrode in lead acid batteries different weight percentage of the carbon nanotubes are added to the active anode material the resistivity of the electrode is lowered for the case of 1.5% addition of nanotube material to the electrodes the electric double layer capacitor carbon nanotubes with strong electrical and mechanical properties can be used as an electrical conductive additive uh, additive in the electrode of electrical double layer capacitor fuel cells fuel cell have been considered as the next generation of the energy devices because this type of the system transform the chemical reaction energy from hydrogen and oxygen into electrical energy in case of fuel cell we will produce the energy from hydrogen and oxygen carbon nanotubes decorated with metal nanoparticles as the electrodes have doubled the performance of the fuel cell so when the carbon nanotubes are employed as a uh, fuel as a electrode in fuel cells it will double its performance owing to the increased catalytic activity of the nanotube base electrodes fifth application is solid phase extraction carbon nanotube are one of the best material used as filter for air and water because they possess high adsorption capacity and large surface area textile carbon nanotubes can produce waterproof and tear resistant fabrics chemical nanowires the gold based carbon nanotubes nanowires are very sensitive and selective to hydrogen sulfide detection in drug delivery within the family of nanomaterial carbon nanotubes have emerged as a new alternative and efficient tool for transporting and translocating therapeutic molecules carbon nanotubes can be functionalized with bioactive peptides proteins nucleic acid and drugs and are used to deliver their cargo to cells and organs 
because functionalized carbon nanotube display low toxicity and are not immunogenic such system hold great potential in the field of nanobiotechnology and nano medicine gas storage because carbon nanotube are hollow cylinder they behave as efficient gas and metal containers field emission source when a potential is applied between a carbon nanotube surface and anode electrons are easily emitted from their tip electron tunneling from the tip into the vacuum due to curvature presence of pentagon or dangling bonds oxidized tip using this principle carbon nanotubes can be used as efficient field emission source for the fabrication of multiple electronic devices such as flat panel display intense light source or light lamps and x-ray sources